Hey guys, it's lunchtime at Media Coco. Let's go check out the buffet. It's over here. Let's see what kind of food they got. Ooh, a little buffet there going. Nice setting. They got pizza over there. Noodles, pasta. Looks like fish, seafood, egg. Gotta try it all. Mushroom. This is the lunch buffet. We got assorted cheese, pull cuts. Looks like they'll make you something. I don't know what that is yet. I'll tell you more information in the future. We've got some desserts. We got ice cream. We got a few different flavors of uh, ice cream. We got fruit over here. Amazing display of fruit. Beautiful. Custard. So we're after the seafood. That's what I am always after. There's the pasta. Pasta stuff. Nice. Well, clams. We got the bread section. More cheese. Hamburger. Hot dog. I'm not sure what that is. We got french fries. Chicken. And more, more chicken. Yeah. Brussels sprouts, yuck. There you go. Eggplant, stir fry, vegetables. And of course over here, I think they got the fish. This is where we were last year, and I love the fish. Sardines. I, got, I can't read that. And then uh, tilapia. And then vasa fish. So there's vasa fish. Basso fish, tilapia, ackee, something in sardine. Clam, seafood, musso, banana, plantain. The sardine? Uh, uno, uno, uno. Gracias. So si, muchas gracias. My fish is done. Oh, it squeezes lemon on it. Fish gracias, senor. Oh, yeah, look at that. Seafood of wonder. Oh. Carol got her chicken. Eggplant, stir fry. I'm honestly eating seafood. Okay, we got our first meal here at Milia Kea Coco. I did sardines and tilapia and a couple other things that I can't remember. We threw a couple lemons on there. We threw a couple lemons on there. I'll squeeze that on all over. I drank my first rum and coke. Carol went with some, what? That's just regular lettuce? Yeah. Regular lettuce, some chicken, some rice. This is our this is our this is our guy. He's gonna be treating us to some awesome drinks. And we got the pool right outside. Good view. Let's eat. Well, the first time I think I've ever had sardines straight up in the shape of a fish. So I'm, I'm betting I'm gonna have to chew either through some bones or I'm gonna have to like be very careful. Sure if you guys can see that tons of bones sticking out but this is definitely one of the top five fish that is super healthy for you so i guess we could pull out a few that we can see and that way we don't have to worry about oh come on come on so oh my goodness this is why you get them in the can Canada. 
you don't have to, you don't have to worry. Oh, look at it. It's all falling apart. There we go. Zero bones. If you're patient enough, you can pull the meat off the bone. He cooks it just long enough. Just kind of look at it before you eat it. I wash my hands before we sat down. I can't wait to see what else they have to offer over the next seven days. Because I remember when we were here last, they had mahi mahi. I don't remember. This is, it's interesting because they didn't have uh, sardines last time I was here. But they had mahi mahi and a bunch of other fish that the hotel that we were at did not have. That was one of the things that kind of intrigued me. Plus, they also had um, shrimp and the baby lobsters. I always mispronounce that, so I'm not going to say it. <laughs> My wife is laughing at me. As you can see, there's tons and tons of bones. So you got to be really careful when you're eating the sardines. Have a good napkin. It's good to pull them out. Oh. Skin of fish is one of the most nutritious things for you. It's nice and crispy. Whatever the fish this was, again, I don't, I can't remember which one he grabbed. That's beautiful. And there's this one. I'm not sure if you can tell by the skin texture. I like that one over this one. And then there's this one. Again, I can't remember which one. So I'm gonna have to like go back and check out which is uh, the size of the fish that he picked on the plates. So I know, but right now, the sardines are amazing. But whatever this was, I'll have to check the size. So I can kind of see which size. That's my favorite. Can't wait over the next few days to see which fish they offer. Again, this hotel, over the last hotel we were at, their food level is like the next, definitely the next level. Let's try one more. I should have done one thing of each. Fantastic lunch. All right, Kara, what did you get? Well, it's like a pancake, but it's like a crepe, I guess. A uh, crepe? Yeah. With a bit of pineapple, maybe? Yeah, well, that's on the side. But... That's on the side? Yeah. And it's like sugar on there? Yes. And cinnamon and Cinnamon, too. sugar, and like a pancake. Yeah. A uh, Cuban pancake. Sort of like a crepe. And that, the whole time you were gone, that's what took the time? Was that? Yeah, because he, he had to serve everybody else at the table. Oh, okay. The, right, station. okay. And then he made mine. Yeah. What do you think? Let's, let's get a little quick food review from Carol Dahmer. Nice. Mm -hmm. You'll order it again. Mm -hmm. All right. So, just over there, people. Just got to fly to Cuba and then ask them for a crepe. We'll do uno crepe por favor. Butter or lard? What? Si.
Ice cream? Yeah, vanilla. Coconut, chocolate, uh, strawberry, and caramel. Uh, car caramel. Cha uh, caramel. Caramel. Muchas gracias, señor. Oh, yeah, let's eat that. Kind of like a graham crust he sprinkled on top after I put the ice cream on. But it's a thing of beauty, just like Carol's. So, and then he asked me what I wanted to put on the bottom, and uh, I said lemon. So he put. I think he originally put, I guess, Crisco or lard or whatever in the, the frying pan. And then he put the stuff in. And then he put in the sugar. And then he put the lemon on the plate. And then he put the, the pancake or crepe on the plate. With the, with the, um, the lemon stuff, it's nice. But now I know that you don't have vanilla ice cream. I think I would prefer um, their caramel sauce along with this. Let me just try to break this apart here. So I put caramel sauce on the plate, put sugar on the crepe, maple ice cream, on top with that little drizzle or whatever and then enjoy i'm going to enjoy being here for the next seven days let me tell you because <laughs> this food is phenomenal they got the rum and cokes they've got these amazing drinks that i'm sorry amazing desserts Get your butt on down to Keo Coco, Emilia Keo Coco. Again, we've been to, this is our third place we've been to, and I can't wait to show you the other foods that we get to eat here at uh, Emilia Keo Coco in Cuba. Because it seems like almost every lunch, possibly, we'll figure it out over the next seven days. But because of COVID and stuff, they think their menu may have changed. They didn't have sardines last time we were here. They had like mahi mahi and a bunch of other things. And then the, the shrimp and the las, what'd you call it? Lacostino. Lacostino. Did I say that already? Anyway, so I can't wait to get into that stuff. But uh, right now, today, they only had what they had. And I'm um, hoping the desserts change it up every once in a while. Yeah, but, uh, every day. Sorry. It's all right. Every day is probably going to be different anyways. I'm going to finish this off. We'll see you later.